Hi everybody, today we're going to show you how to fill a T cushion, a T, letter T hyphen cushion. So a T cushion is just like this, this is one T cushion on a sofa. Sometimes you have a chair with the T cushion on either side. Uh, but this is the one, it's a little thick filling, so it's going to be a little bit interesting to see how I do this. Um, the main problem with people when they, when they do a cushion, if they don't realize how to do it, there's two things. They ask somebody to help, never have anybody help, because usually what that means is you're going to break the zip. And the other reason is, um, another problem is when you're working singly and you don't know how to uh, take the filling out uh, of the piece, if you're going to reuse the cushion or put it in, then you break the zipper as a single person. So I'm going to show you uh, how to effectively fill the cushion and make it look as good as this. So this is the old cushion um, that I just did the cover for. But um, if you have a cushion and you're just changing out the foam, um, you really want to be careful doing that. Uh, so you unzip it as much as you can. Fold it back just a little bit, like so. You're going to reach into where the T is, and you're going to grab the T, and you're going to try to pull the T out into the cushion here. And you're going to go to the other side and pull that corner. Try to fold, you try to fold these two together, that's what you're trying to do. Then come about in the middle and try to squeeze it together, which I did. Now I'm holding this with one hand, okay? If you can't do that, pull, push down like this and try to carefully strip the, the, the fabric away without tension. If you feel tension, stop. Because it means you're putting tension on the zipper and you're going to break the zipper. And then you're into a costly, you know, or, you know, a, you're going to have to pay somebody to fix it or you're going to have time that you're going to put into fixing it or you're going to have to get a new zipper or both. So, <coughs> I have the cushion that I, the customer does not want their cushion, but in case you were just filling the cushion out, you, you have your cushion ready to go. But in my case, I'm going to fold it up and just throw it over there for now. Now I have my new cover. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check. Customer, you know, wanted the old foam, so I'm just going to check to make sure there's nothing in there, right? It's a pretty good cushion, you know. It's it's got a nice filling, foam filling. It's got a nice wrap around it, so it's going to, you know, I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit. That's it. That's the only adjustment. Small adjustment. Okay. Now I'm going to line up my i going to open this zipper up as much as I can. So when I make it, I try to, I'm giving myself a little bit more zipper on the side to make it a little easier to fill. So I'm going to put it in front of me, like so. Make sure it's nice and flattened out. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to karate chop my cushion. Make sure you got the right, you got the T going in there, right? So I'm going to karate chop the cushion. I'm going to fold it and and I'm going to try to hold this together like this. I'm going to try to insert the cushion with it, one hand folding it and the other hand working the cover. Now, if you can't do this, a little tip, you might, you could take some tape maybe and tape it up, fold it and then put it in. But the idea is to kind of dress it so that you're not putting tension on the zipper. Always remember that. You don't want to put tension on the zipper. You're trying to work the corners as close as you can. And then at some point, give it a little push there. I felt it actually unfolding when I turned it over. At some point you can reach in, and, and this is where also body English is good. Um, you really need to notice how I'm trying to get low in order to get a better angle on the cushion. I'm going to actually go down on one knee. I'm going to go into the cushion. Believe it or not, my fold, my, my T is almost where it should be, but I'm going to twist it a little bit. Try to get it there. This is the first adjustment. I'm going to pull my fabric back. I'm going to go to the other corner. I'm holding this hand. I'm pulling the fabric and I'm working the, the top corner of the foam into the, into the corner. Okay, I'm going to flip it. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to adjust this a little bit, bring it to me, and then I'm going to try to hold on to this corner and pull that in. I'm going to push this in here, and I'm going to do the same on this side. Trying to get my corners going right into the, cor the corner of the foam to the corner of the cushion. Beautiful. And then I'm going to do this pull. See how this is ridged here, so I'm going to take my hand means I have to turn it over and take a look at what's going on in this side. This side had to come up just a little bit more, so I'm working that. Get my cushion. Beautiful cushion, actually. 
It's coming out nice. See how you got a little, looks like a little uh, fault here? That's because the salvage, see the salvage is running, it's running up in that area. So take your hand, I take my index finger and kind of roll it right in there and push the, the excess foam, I mean filling, I mean the salvage of the fabric down into the box. Okay, do the same here, same here. Same here. Starts to look like a good cushion, doesn't it? Got a little push there. Let's take a look at the front. Not bad. Turn it over. Give it a little push to the back. And then push it. Try to push the filling into the front like so. And then, if you really want to do a good job, take little pieces of, of uh, loose, loose Dacron and you can work them into the corner, you know, little ball, golf ball sizes in this, in this case. See, I could fix that divot right there. Watch this, look at that. Beautiful. Come over here, do the same thing. That back side, front side. This side came out beautiful. I don't have to do anything there. There's a little divot here. I'll put a little decor in there. Look at that, huh? Very nice. That's a matter of zipping it up. Okay, I'm going to turn to show you this. <clears throat> when you zip, make sure that your corner is properly put in there. And then the other thing you want to make sure is your salvage is down to the zipper. Okay, just run your hand along here. Makes for a better looking cushion when your salvage is going down. Okay, let's just show you over here. You get your corner. Right. And then you run your hand in here to get your salvage going down to the zipper, right? Beautiful. So you can use this if you're, if you're restuffing a tea cushion that you already have or if you're stuffing a cushion that you've just, just sewed up. Same thing. I'm taking my, my fabric and I'm just running those together on the zipper and I'm done. Very good. I do want to point out one thing before we go. So this is this is a chenille, so you see that the boxing is a little dark. It's light here. This is the way you're going to put it in the sofa. And the other cushion will have the chenille, the other teak cushion will have the chenille with the nap going down just like this one. So there you go, how to fill a teak cushion. Glad you tuned in and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.